Okay, welcome to today's video everyone. So today we're going to be learning a little bit more about complex numbers and a bit more, just a little bit more of the theory. Okay, so in the last video we saw that we defined the complex numbers as the set of all numbers of the form z equal to x plus i y, where x and y are real numbers, and we define i equal to the square root of minus 1, such that i squared equals minus 1. Okay, so you might be wondering, this is a complex number. We're thinking of this as a number. This is a two-dimensional number here. So it seems a bit strange or a bit odd to think of it as a single number. But as you start to work with it a little bit more, you'll, you will start to familiarize yourself with this notion of a number being two-dimensional. Okay, so a complex number has two parts. It has a real part, which we denote by RE of Z. So this is the real of Z, and that's equal to X. And it also has an imaginary part, Z, which is equal to Y. Now, it's important to remember that X and Y are real numbers. So even though we call Y, or Y is the imaginary part of Z, the reason it's the imaginary part is because it's being multiplied by I. So it's the fact that y is multiplied by i that makes it imaginary. So y itself is a real number, but because it's multiplied by i, it's an imagine. It's the imaginary part of the complex number. Okay, now, if we set y equals to 0, then the complex number z reduces to z equals to x, and this is what's known as a purely real number. So it has no imaginary part since y is equal to 0, and so we call it purely real. Now, if we set x equal to 0, then z is equal to i y, and this has no real part, and so we call it purely imaginary. So this, um, this might come up in questions where they ask you to, for example, if a complex number is purely imaginary, find the roots of a polynomial. And we'll see examples of that in later videos. Okay, so the next thing we look at is what is known as conjugation, or finding the conjugate of a complex number. So you might remember when you were asked to rationalize a fraction which had a third in the denominator, we multiplied by the conjugate. And so the conjugate, that's just changing the sign in, in between the real and the imaginary parts. So if z is x plus i y, then the conjugate, which we write z with a bar on top and we say z bar, so z bar, which is the conjugate, is equal to x minus i y. Okay, now, another very important uh, uh, fact to know about complex numbers is two complex numbers, let's call them Z1 and Z2, are equal if and only if X1 equals X2 and Y1 equals Y2. So, more generally, this is saying that their real parts have to be equal and their imaginary parts are equal. So, that's... Um, a double implication. So when we see if and only if, that means this uh, implication works in both ways. So if we're told that two complex numbers are equal, then we know that their real parts are equal and their imaginary parts are equal. Conversely, if we're told that their real parts are equal and their imaginary parts are equal, then we can uh, justify our statement of saying that the complex numbers are equal. And you remember in the last video I mentioned how the complex numbers are not an ordered field because we can't list them in increasing order. So when we looked at the magnitudes, we could find uh, magnitudes that were equal. However, the complex numbers weren't equal because the real parts weren't equal and the imaginary parts weren't equal. And lastly, we can think of a complex number Z as an ordered pair. And this means that we can represent it in a plane as a point. And this plane has a special name, it's called the Argan diagram. So, we know that this complex number Z is two-dimensional, so we can think of it as an ordered pair, X, Y. And this corresponds to the complex number Z equals to X plus I, Y. And we'll learn a bit more about the Argan diagram and a lot of special rotations and such, and translations of a complex number when we work more about the Argan diagram in future videos. So... Once again, this was just a quick recap or introduction to a couple of the small facts about complex numbers. 
Our next video will be an example of solving equations, uh, mostly quadratic equations with complex numbers. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video.